Good day everyone! My name is Mary Rose Igarcia, a second year nursing student from Section Wedding Back. So for today's video, I'm going to perform a health assessment demonstration. Health assessment aims to discover the signs of illnesses and physical defects in order to correct them, check on the health habits of the pupils, and prevent the progress of those which cannot be corrected. In order to attain the purpose, the examination must be thorough. It cannot be considered complete unless the necessary advice for the improvement or correction of the defects found has been given to the person concerned. Well-lighted and ventilated room, two to three chairs according to me, Waste basket, hand washing facilities, down depressor and pen light, stethoscope and speed manometer, forms or records. Before health assessment, the nurse should conduct a classroom health lecture and inform the children on what they are to do during the assessment. Three to five children at a time should be in waiting area for the assessment. Perform hand hygiene before the start of the assessment. Children should be assessed one by one from head to toe inspection. Stethoscopes must be used for heart and lung assessment. Findings should be recorded during the assessment. Children should be told to roll their sleeves, extend their arms, and show their hands one side first, then the other and spread. The child should pull down lower leads using his index finger, place under them, and tell them to look up. Put the second finger on her nose, pull up, and extend the head backwards. The child should be told to open her mouth and say ah to show her throat. The child should be told to push her hair behind her ear and pull the outer ear up slightly backward and forward. Child's neck should be examined. And her chest and back should be auscultated. The pupil should be asked to run her fingers through her hair several times. She may show the back of her neck by pushing her hair up. The girl should pull up her dress to show her knees. Observations may also be done while the children are marching in and out of the room and may sit sideward so as to have their legs extended out in the aisle. The child's general appearance should be observed. Health assessment should include the interview to gather data and information. Nutritional assessment including the height and weight measurements. Vision aptitude test and hearing test. Four methods of physical examination such as inspection, percussion, palpation, and auscultation. Taking a vital sign. Appraisal of the general physical and mental condition and lastly reporting of the findings. If the health personnel is of the opposite sex, it must be done in the presence of the other school personnel, preferably of the same sex. Discuss with the teacher and the people concerned the results of the findings and what should be done after the assessment is finished. Treat cases needing treatment during the special treatment periods and not during the inspection except the case of emergency. Refer cases which cannot be handled by the nurse properly. And lastly, parents must be informed of the findings.